This is so good already. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the M4 Pro MacBook Pro. I got the 14 inch with the nano texture glass option. I've been using the M4 Mac Mini and the M4 iMac and I'm really excited to unbox this new MacBook Pro. We have so much to talk about, all the new features along with my favorite Apple intelligence features. So let's get into it. Guys, I genuinely gasped when I unbox this. The nano texture display is nothing like I've seen before and I feel like I can never go back. I genuinely can never go back. I have lights coming here, natural light coming in here and you don't see a glare at all. It seriously looks incredible. I can't wait to use this outdoors, in an airplane, in a cafe. This is so good already. So I have the nano texture display on my new M4 iMac, but I think it's completely on the next level amazing on the MacBook Pro because you bring this around with you in different lighting all the time and no glare at all. This is so good. Now it's amazing because even if I shine a bright light into it, it still is a little dull. Like you can see a reflection just because this is a crazy bright light, but it's definitely dull. We have a natural light window coming from there and I have no glare whatsoever. Like it's such a beautiful finish with the nano texture display, like gorgeous finish. Apple really went off with the nano texture display on this. This is sick. So we have our MagSafe, two USB-Cs and a headphone jack. And on this side, we have our HDMI Thunderbolt USB-C and an SD card reader. I cannot live without the SD card reader. I'm just gonna put it out there. That is a must for me. So this is the M4 Pro with 14 CPU, 20 core GPU, 48 gigabytes of memory, and two terabytes of storage. You can also spec it out with the M4 Max, which has 14 core CPU and 32 core GPU. So we got our Liquid Retina XDR display with 1600 nits of peak brightness. And for SDR content, we're getting a thousand nits of brightness. So now we got a 12 megapixel center stage camera that supports desk view. That's a really cool feature I'm gonna show you guys later. We're also getting 24 hours of battery life and this thing can fast charge 50% in just 30 minutes. And for me personally, that's a big deal. I love how fast my Apple Watch Ultra charges and my new iPhone 16 Pro Max. So having this charge 50% in 30 minutes is gonna be awesome, especially if you're always on the go and you forget to charge it or if you're like a student or leaving for a lecture and you realize your laptop is a little dead you could quickly plug it in and ready to go. So this guy can support two external displays and if you have the M4 Max version, you can support four external displays which is crazy for multitasking. So the M4 Pro and the M4 Max actually have Thunderbolt 5 ports. So this is going to more than double your transfer speeds for up to 120 gigabytes per second. Not only is this guy powerful, but it is built for Apple intelligence. Let's go try out some of my favorite Apple intelligence features. The writing tools feature in Apple intelligence is something I think everyone will be using. Once you try it, there is no going back. So you just highlight a text, right click it, click on writing tools and we have so many different options. It will be able to summarize a whole article in seconds. This is like spark notes but better because it works on everything. It's awesome for doing research and finding key points of a long article. The Apple intelligence is seriously changing the way we're gonna do work forever and honestly I'm excited. This is so cool. Now to our next feature. Apple intelligence in mail is going to be so useful for everyone. If you're writing a long email or you just don't know how to craft it, you can write your thoughts out and click on the Apple intelligence symbol and it will proofread it for you, change it to sound more friendly, change it to sound more professional and do everything for you to put your words into a nice wrapped up bow, perfect email. Personally, I think this is gonna help me a lot answer more emails quicker with sounding more professional and having the ability to just switch up 
the wording to make it sound awesome, but still like my tone of voice. And also the proofreading feature is gonna save you a lot of time. Now Siri is also getting a lot more intelligent. You can now type to talk to her so that you don't have to, you know, say, hey Siri. She'll just be there all the time if you're in a quiet room or if you're in a lecture or at a cafe, you can just type and ask her a question. And in the future, she'll actually have chat GPT integrated into Siri, so she's gonna know everything. It's amazing. Apple Intelligence, I love you already. This MacBook Pro is perfect for entrepreneurs or creatives, so now I'm happy we have a 12 megapixel center stage camera and we also get the new desk view feature. Let's check it out. So I'm on a FaceTime call right here and this is desk view, so you can zoom out a little further back, zoom in. And what I think is gonna be useful, say you're doing homework or tutoring someone, it automatically like flips it so they can see it straight up. This is so cool. I feel like doing group projects are gonna be awesome like this. I think this feature is really cool. And also say you're working on something. So I'm building this. This is kind of cool to show people how I'm building it or we can do it together. Like if I need help on something. And we also have the center stage camera, so it moves around with my head. As you can see, it's going up and down with follow me around. We also get the new iPhone mirroring feature. So as you can see right here, it says that my iPhone is in use. I can swipe through, do everything that my phone can do. I can go on apps that I don't have on my Mac. It's so cool and I feel like I will get some use out of this because I like to leave my phone downstairs when I'm like on my couch doing work and now I can like quickly access it. So I'll even get my app notifications like my Duolingo or Snapchat and stuff like that right on my MacBook Pro. I feel like I'm gonna be watching TikToks like this now. Let's open up all the apps and see how speedy fast we are. Oh my goodness, this is insanely quick. What is going on? What? This is wild. It is actually bizarre how fast this thing is. Like I'm actually shook. So I've been using my M3 Max for about a year now and I have no issues at all. I'm obsessed with it. It is so fast. I also have so much running at once that when my friends see my desktop, they're shocked at how this is working so quickly. I bring it everywhere. It doesn't overheat. The battery is great. But after using this new one for about five minutes now with the nano texture glass, it just makes me so excited. We have to dive deeper. We gotta do some Final Cut Pro editing on this and see if it's worth the upgrade. Okay, here's what's new in Final Cut Pro. I'm very excited about the enhancing light and color. That's gonna be so easy to do. Here's a video that you guys are watching and now we just click on enhance light and color and it just made everything look a lot nicer. Whoa, it changed it as you can see right here. The warmth and everything. Whoa, that looks nice. And then here, same thing. Let's do it again. Enhance light and color. I feel like that just made it look a lot nicer. And now for the outdoor shots in bright sunlight, it changed it too. Now I'm really excited about this final cut feature. It's gonna save us so much time. So click duplicate project as. We're gonna go vertical and smart conform. Analyzing timeline clips, I'm so excited. And here we go. I can easily make my video into a TikTok video where Instagram Reels shorts within seconds. I can adjust where I wanna be if I wanna be more in the center, perfect. And now this clip at the end. Y'all, this is gonna save me so much time. Honestly, it's very impressive. There's no stutter. Apple, keep it up. Now gaming on this looks really nice, crisp, clean, looks gorgeous, super smooth. But what I think takes it to the next level, honestly, again, it's the nano texture glass. It gives it a really sharp, clean look where no glare is distracting when I'm just looking at the beautiful graphics of the game. This is so much fun. If you guys have any recommendations on games you think I would like, comment them down below. I have to show you guys the difference between nano texture glass and regular because the difference is crazy. This is nano texture and this is without it. You can see the reflection of my light right here and like my movements you see kind of in the back, but you don't see anything on the nano texture display. Let's get a closer look. The nano texture is definitely more matte of like a nice clean look. And this one you can see fingerprints right away. Whereas here it's not as noticeable. So you can notice a huge difference here of an angle. So I have a natural light coming in from the windows right here and the reflection is 
kind of wild. Don't get me wrong, I love the glossy finish, but I mean, imagine working summer in bright lights. A complete difference of matte to gloss. You know what, let me give you guys a true test and let's go outside in the bright sunlight. We are outside and honestly, I can't even tell the difference, but when we open it, I can tell right away that bad boy is the nano texture. Okay, let's watch something and see how it looks. Okay, regular glass. Don't get me wrong, this isn't bad at all. Like I would just move it this way so there's not a crazy glare when I'm watching. Nano texture looks insane. Like, oh, come on, look at this. No matter where I turn, perfect view. Perfect. Here's a good comparison for you guys so you can tell the difference. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am so impressed with this M4. The nano texture display alone is so cool and so good. I feel like that's what would make me want to upgrade as well as the performance, like the capabilities in Final Cut, how fast it is the performance is pretty darn good. Now, if I had the M1 or M2, 100%, I'd be upgrading to the M4 because it's night and day difference. Now, should you upgrade from the M3? That's kind of hard to say. Of course, right now I'm super excited. I just got it out of the box. It's fresh, it's fast, but I'm gonna do a review one week using it, a month using it, six months, so I can let you guys know if it's worth it to upgrade if you have the M3. I'm really excited with all the new tech I have. I got the M4 iMac, I got the Mac Mini, and now the MacBook Pro. All the videos are out on my channel, so head over to watch them. I have some fun videos in the pipeline coming up. I'm not gonna share too much just yet, but make sure to hit subscribe so you are the first to watch. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.